Let's be the brave empire. And our goal is to go explore the southeast of the map. Because let's just say that our character has heard tell of many human civilizations down there. And where we are up here is also a lot of untamed wilds. Because that's around where our last adventurer died. In fact, I think we, we died around here. So we're a human of the brave empire. We're currently a lady. I think that we should be a member of pants truths of the, of the 50 of the thrifty group. We're going to spread the good truth of pants of the 50 of the thrifty group. We're going to teach everybody how truthful pants can be. She personally disdains loyalty and does not respect the law. She is given to flights of fancy to the points of distraction. She is uh, she is not the type to fall in love or even develop develop positive feelings. She lives a uh, fat she lives a orderly life, organized and neat, and she tends to not reveal personal information. While she is brave in the face of imminent danger, she tends to consider what others think of her, and she is somewhat uncomfortable around those that appear unusual or live differently from herself. She doesn't focus on material goods, and she do she tends to not be swayed by emotional appeals and does not have a great aesthetic sensitivity. She tends to do things correctly each time, and she has a noticeable lack of perseverance. I'm going to remove the male shirt so that I have enough for a horse. <laughs> Zipper, beans, cheese, ham taro. Panster. Done. <laughs> Panster the hamster. Boo. Legend. Horse. Horse zeal. Horse legend. Okay, so I've got a horse named Horse Legend and a hamster named Panster. The, the citizens of Poe's Kaksul are plagued by bandits. The gang led by the goblin Struslot... Hay Blockade has even some troublemakers to harass people right here in town. You finally got your equipment together, such as it is, and now it is time for action and adventure. In the rush of excitement, you've forgotten where you're going to go. Perhaps your friends here can remind you. Ask the listener to join me on adventures. I would rather not, they say. Well, I'm going to speak with this goblin. I'm going to greet the listener. My name is Garment Pants Quest, and they say, Ah, hello. I'm Zikib, like counsel. You know you don't meet many people with the name Garment. And apparently this place is filled with bandits. And um, I'm the bandit has a goblin name, so I'm assuming that these goblins are the bandits. I might be killing somebody in 90 seconds. And I'm going to attack this goblin. I'm going to make sure that I have my weapons out. Alt-Y, strike in the upper body. Ooh, I should just kick him. He moves out of the way. God damn it. He moves out of range. Boo charges the goblin axeman from behind. Uh, Boo collides with the goblin axeman. The goblin axeman has been knocked over and tumbles backward. Boo kicks the goblin axeman in the right upper arm from behind with his left rear hoof. I could get a pretty easy strike on the lower or an easier, a better strike on the lower body. I will stab it. I miss. <laughs> Boo also kicks the goblin axeman. I mean, he's got heavy bleed. Actually, sorry. He's unconscious. Stab again. We struck him down. Boo kicks the goblin axeman. Did Boo just kill still me? Uh, Boo kicks the goblin axeman, Zikab, with his rear hoof, and the injured part explodes into gore. I'm going to pray to my god. Okay, so I think this is the bandit camp right here. Yeah, that, that's it. So this little star is a temporary camp. So I can just fast travel here, or I could have I could have actually just walked here. I'm still on the horsey. Haven't started attacking me just yet. This guy's asleep. Hopefully the horse is also stealthing. Otherwise, it's going to destroy my my stealth opportunities. I'm going to stab him in the neck. You stab the bulging eyes goblin pikeman in the neck from behind uh, with your copper spear, tearing the muscle and bruising the spine's bone, continuing to like cause massive bleeding. He's been struck down because uh, Boo kicked him. <laughs> should ask for directions. I'm right here, he says. That's me. He's neutral and patient. I hate the law. His hair is extremely long. He has an angular chin. A high voice and narrow red eyes that are protruding. Uh, his extraordinarily broad ears are flattened and his head is somewhat narrow. His hair is fuchsia and his skin is dark green. I'm just going to bump attack. He pets Boo! Man, how dare you pet my horse? He draws his great axe. I draw my sword and whatnot. He says he yields. He yields. Boo kicks the, <laughs> the goblin leader in the upper arm from behind with his left front hoof. And the injured part is smashed into the body in an unrecognizable mass. <laughs> an artery has been opened by the attack and the force bends the left shoulder, shattering the bone and shattering the bone. This horse is a war hero. I'm going to 
Okay, I tried to mount Boo, but Boo, Boo's already gone. <laughs> I'm going to start sprinting uh, to try and catch up with Boo. Uh, Boo has kicked the round chin leader in the head uh, from behind uh, with the right rear hoof, and the injured part collapses into a lump of gore. He's obviously bleeding quite a lot, and he dropped his axe, I think. Yeah, he dropped his axe. And uh, Boo kicks him again, and he says, I must withdraw! Um, blood's just spurting everywhere. Boo <laughs> kicks the round goblin leader uh, from behind with the right hoof, shattering the bone through the rope reed coat. The force pulls the left shoulder, tearing apart the muscle and bruising the bone. A ligament has been bruised and a tendon has been torn. I'm going to try and leap closer to the fight, have an ongoing conversation with this guy. I'm going to demand he give me his loincloth? Drop the rope reed loincloth! And Boo kicks him around. <laughs> Bruising the guts through the small rope reed cape. The goblin leader looks sick. Boo kicks the goblin leader in the lower body. Bruising the pancreas of the rope reed coat. Goblin is bled to death. Did I get credited with that one? God damn it! I'm gonna talk to Boo. I'm gonna greet listener and say, You are a mighty warrior indeed. Bump attack. It's been struck down. So there's one right here now. Who's the new leader? Sleeping characters basically never wake up if you attack them in their sleep. Give me your trousers. Boo kicks them. <laughs> I yield! I drop the rope reed trousers. Wrestler gives into the pain. He's screaming, I yield repeatedly, and Boo's just like, bang! <laughs> We're like weirdly okay with this whole thing considering I'm distressed, uneasy, horrified, and afraid. I'm probably crying even. Man, the number of kills I would have if my horse didn't kick everybody to death. Good God. Boo then kicks the thin leader in the upper body with his right front hoof, bruising the muscle and jamming the right false ribs through the lung and tearing the lung. He's shot surprised by the ferocity of your onslaught. Not mine, that's Boo. How were these guys ever harassing my town? You'd think that this horse would have killed them years ago. And I think Boo got, yeah, chat, Boo got that one as well. I'm going to drink some sewer brew. I think I've earned a... I think I've earned a drink. Why are the goblins attacking each other? They're fighting for leadership, probably. Also, murder is legal in goblin society. You need to remember that. Plus, I've probably caused a power struggle because I, you know, killed uh, the leader of a bandit gang. But yeah, no, um, I said, reveal what you have been scheming or suffer the consequences as my horse kicks him after, as my horse bites him in the head from behind. <laughs> or tries to, bites him and then latches on. Uh, and then is, uh, let's just say, shaking him around by the head. <laughs> and I'm just like, reveal to me the, you know. I'm gonna ask about their master or boss. The goblin bled to death. <laughs> All right, well, let's walk around this castle. My, my, okay, so so this is a, this this area has pits in front of it. My horse is, is legendary already. It has a title and I haven't managed to get a single kill. I'm gonna speak with the child and I'm gonna greet them and say, hello, Os. They say it is good to see you. Praise minerals. Hopefully your friends can dissuade you from this foolishness. I'm going to ask the listener why they're traveling. They say that they're just out for a stroll. I'm going to investigate or interrogate. I'm going to ask about the child's schemes and plots. And they say, I do not scheme. I'm going to intimidate the child and ask who their master or boss is. I serve no one. The child flinches. Uh, they're now mad at me. I'm going to uh, try again. Uh, but have you been scheming? Scheming. And they say, I do not scheme. And I'm like... Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to uh, ask about the listener's family. My my maternal grandmother was named Aurel Tornai. She is our family's ancestor. In the midwinter of 185, Aurel became the keeper of the seal of the Band of Fortunes. Oh, wow. So this person's like, this kid's like kind of royalty in a way. Inquire about the listener's... Uh, <laughs> you look like a mighty warrior indeed. And the child goes, I'm 11. We'll see you later, maniac. Ask how the listener is feeling, and they say, everything's good. They have, they're mad at me, and they, they, they are agitated and impatient. All right, well, I will stop interrogating a child. Do not feel anything after interacting well with a pet. With a pet, you, you, you feel enjoyment while performing. I'm, just, I'm, yeah, I'm leveling up pretty quick as a spearman. I'm also leveling up quite quick as a, as a fighter. Um, I'm a competent rider, I guess. I'm along for the ride, that is true. Who's this person? It's the milker. Hello, it's good to see you, I say. And they say it's good to see you too, and I'm gonna say goodbye. 